Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, so in terms of awareness, we have the King of Swords and we have the Magician. So the King of Swords is, um, you know, this king has become successful and wise because of his ability to use his intelligence um, across the board in analyzing complex issues, in looking for the truth, in trying to pursue what is fair, and uh, of not getting caught up in, a, in an emotional whirlwind um, or extraneous information is very precise, very clear, and very direct. And so this King of Swords, while he has his sword facing downward and has his bird on his arm, you know, he's looking right at us. He's going to be very clear in how he communicates. So for you this week, you know, this King of Swords energy that will, will tell you that in whatever situation you're dealing with, to look for the truth, to try to communicate ideas and facts and figures clearly and succinctly, if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> um, you know, the King of Swords is doesn't suffer any fools and, and will cut out what isn't needed. So if you also are being bogged down by some energy of other folks that's not helping you, then maybe it's time just to kind of put them off to the side. But there's a very positive and intelligent attributes here, which is use your smarts, use your thinking. If adversity or setbacks or challenges turn up, be like the King of Swords, which is you're going to strategize and think of a way to solve these setbacks or, you know, the, the problems that may occur. So then we also have now the magician and the magician here and the glowing, glowingness of this illustration. You know, the magician has everything he needs in order to manifest and create the purposeful and, and the desired life. And you do too. You have talents, you have skills, you have experience, you have desires. And so it's time to listen to your desires about what you want to build, what you want to create, what you want to manifest. And then it's also time to take action and to think about how you're going to do it, how you're going to find the perfect blend of resources that the universe has blessed you with and that you have made better with your own hands. You know, you create your life. You're in charge. You're the master. And you're the master of your own ship. And so have faith in what you can do and have faith in the future of what you can build. So for some of you this week, you may be working on side jobs. You may be working on new hobbies that really allow your passions to come through. Watercolors, uh, you know, design, whatever it may be. Something for you to pursue and to allow your talents to really shine. So in terms of guidance, we have the Two of Wands and we have the Five of Pentacles. So the Two of Wands is it's a card of, again, the initial stages of mani manifesting. Here's the magician with the realization that I have everything I need in order to create my future. Here's the thinking part of that future tied to my passions, tied to what I want to create and build and the life that I want to lead. I may be considering what it takes to get there. I may be sussing it out as I look through these two wands in the portal. I see in the horizon what my world may bring to me. It's a function of what I think, what my heart tells me, and what I believe. So here we have the very strong um, message of manifesting and creating. We have use your smarts and be ready to handle any adversity with your smart thinking. So in terms of guidance, we also have the five of pentacles. And so the five of pentacles, we see this figure outside of what could be a church holding a bowl or something. And, you know, this is often 
um, symbolic of a struggle, of, of a tough time, of going through a tough time. Maybe it's a lack of confidence. Maybe it's a lack of support from your loved ones or from friends. And you're feeling it and you're feeling out, in the, literally, out in the cold or you're feeling that you're not getting what you need. And that can be tough because you feel that you're, um, you know, that maybe you're forgotten in a sense. So a couple things here. When we have struggles, and whether they're financial struggle, struggles or whether they're health-wise or emotional struggles, you have to look for help. You have to ask for help. You have to be known. People can't read minds, you know, and, and um, perhaps there's a piece of, um, you know, not letting your pride overrule, but to accept help or to reach out to say, I, I could use a little hand to help me get back on my feet. Emotionally, financially, in whatever way that this applies. But, you know, with the Five of Pentacles, there is, um, there is a light beyond this. You will get through this. It's a challenge. It's a struggle using your smarts. But again, really looking to your heart and saying, I need, I need something here. I either need support from my friends or family, or I need support from an organization, whatever it may be, so that I don't feel that I'm alone in this thing that I'm working on. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is this youthful figure holding this large pentacle, yeah, static, standing, looking straight at us. And so this Page of Pentacles is all about the study, all about the devotion to learning, acquiring knowledge, thinking, how am I going to make more of these pentacles? How am I going to build up my, my reserve? How am I going to get to stability and abundance? I'm going to have to think about things. I'm going to have to read up, perhaps. I'm going to have to meet with experts. But I need to really be focused on the learning aspect of getting myself back into a flush or, you know, a secure position. So this page of pentacles is going to do whatever it takes with patience, with devotion, with hard work and responsibility in order to learn the ways of, of resources, time, money, property, the energy expended. And this is a very interesting card because when we're looking at the ace of pentacles, you know, it's the, the universe providing you a blessing or a message, which is if you are, if you are nurturing and taking care of the seeds of your ideas, if you have a plan, if you are patient, if you're going to work hard, put in the time, put in the energy, put in the focus, then you may have the possibility here of having abundance, walking through this gate and not just money, but abundance of spirit, of fulfillment, of understanding what you've, what you've created, what you've accomplished of building of a secure foundation, but really this is a card of happiness and prosperity and delight. This tells us good relationships. So the promise of, of abundance is here, provided that you kind of follow, if you don't rush the process, and if you think about how you're doing, how you're going to get to here, and if you take care of that idea or your plan, then you have this possibility, you have this opportunity to walk through these gates, to rise above or to lift away from this feeling of the five of pentacles, which is a feeling of struggle, of hardship. So Sagittarius, interesting, we, with the magician, with the two of wands, this idea of manifesting, and again, ace of Pentel, pentacles manifesting as well, manifesting prosperity and abundance. So let's take a look at what we have in terms of um, an affirmation for the week. 
I've chosen a pretty straightforward message. Um, we can see what the message is for the week. Okay. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So that's really a beautiful card, and particularly if you feel lack of support, is to remember that the universe is looking out for you, your angels, your guides, divine source, leading you along the way to study and to creation and manifesting into abundance. And let's choose a card for love. Gratitude, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. And to have gratitude, to express gratitude, to realize that not every day is easy, not every situation is easy. There are times when you have to really think about what you're doing, where you're headed, where you're going. You may have to start from scratch, but to be grateful and to show gratitude for what you do have and to count your blessings is a wonderful strategy. It's a wonderful practice to have because it does help keep you centered. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week. I thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.